Hello my friends, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget and I've got a couple of tips for you today. Um, they're things that I've been doing for, for years really um, and I thought I'd just share them with you. Well, one of them I've been doing for years, one of them not so long but um, quite a while so I'll share them with you today. Um, now mascara. Mascara, some mascaras dry out quicker than others. Um, I find... I mean, probably my favourite mascara has always been Yves Saint Laurent's um, The Baby Doe Eyes. And I, I love that. But it, it really, honestly, it lasts about three weeks and it, it's just dry. Um, another one I love that dries out very quickly is the Lash Princess um, from L'Oreal. I love that. But also, that just seems to, to dry out quickly. Others last ages. You know, but those particular ones. This is one, um, I wouldn't say it dries out terribly quickly, but it always seems to have some in it that's too dry to come out or too thick. And this is a tip that I do. So this is Benefits Roller Lash. It's the one I have on today. Um, and what I do is I take out the spoolie and I get a cup of very hot water and I drop but you must I drop it in like that but you mustn't let it go over the top it's got to be um you know it mustn't go into the mascara at all it just has to be enough to cover it but not go into the top so that's very hot water and I've dropped that in there and then I will get a spool uh, my spoolie and I get some gentle wipes wiping wipes that you can use for doing your eyes with take quite a few like that and then I clean the brush there's no point in putting the top on because that hot water will help. It will help to soften it, help to loosen that mascara and thin it down a little bit. For a while anyway. For, you get a few more uses out of it, definitely. But if you've still got some on this and you've got that still into the tube and you've put that in the hot water, it's just got more work to do. Um, so I just use the put the mascara itself in. And then I clean this, because you can see how much is on there. I clean that brush up. And then I wait just a little while for that mascara to soften. Okay, I'm going to take that out of the water. It's hot, it's quite hot. Wipe that tube down. Let's get some more cleaning wipes. Make sure it's all wiped around the top. Look at the amount that comes around the top. All around there. Make sure it's wiped all around there. Down. And then you can put your brush in. Not too much pumping. And you can feel. You hear it? Just loosen it up. You can feel the difference. So that's just the way that I do it. Just to prolong my mascara a little bit longer. That was the roller lash I did that with. The other tip that I've got is probably one that I sort of thought of myself, but it really works. Um, liquid lipstick seems to be the real thing now. And I like I like the staying power of a liquid lipstick. I think, you know, I, I can't find a bullet that lasts quite as long as a liquid lipstick. Um, but they can be so dry so so and they've got that real matte feeling and some of them although they don't, they don't separate or crack they've got that that matte look that sometimes you know at our age is is not the most attractive so i'll show you what i do this one here is um is a stay setting it's a it's a rimmel one and it's a lovely color but again, it's, I love it, but it will dry quite um, taut, you know. And I, I don't. So what I do is 
the, this an oil and it, you can use any oil but squalene is really good for this because squalene is a very very light oil and I get my lipstick ready like that then I put a little bit of squalene just one drop or even half a drop on the back of my hand like that and then I get the lipstick and I coat it with this squalene either side. And that just makes that a hundred percent. It's so much smoother, so much smoother, and it won't dry to that crack. See, it'll last because squalene really will just go into your lips. It's a very uh, um, an oil that absorbs very easily, but it'll do the trick with the lipstick, and it'll it'll stop it being so um, that really taut, tight feeling that's that's not very uh, attractive on our lips. So, they're my little two tips for today. I hope you enjoyed them, guys. They're the sneaky things that I do. <laughs> um, so it helps, doesn't it, have little tips like that? Because I've got lots. I've bought so many matte lipsticks. And I was thinking, I've got to find a way to use these up, you know? Because they're nice and they're, you know, I wanted to use them. I love the colours. And I thought, where can I use these up? And I just thought, I know, I'll try with a, a little bit of oil. But squalene is the one that I found best. Some of them are too heavy. Rose seed oil is beautiful. But it's just a little bit... Squalene has just got the edge on it for making that um, the right consistency that you need to mix with the lip gloss. So, yes, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, I will see you again tomorrow. Please take care of yourselves. And thanks for being here. Thanks, guys, so much.